of the several mechanism and the photo This is the video capture of the cameras. Erase the camera's <coughs> micro SD. Check the battery's voltage level. Then we test and prepare the software and test it finally the TPS. <coughs> Post flight analysis. Uh, <coughs> we, we got a very good signal from the transmitter. It was uh, excellent, except of the phase that uh, went down the ground, but we lost it for some seconds, and then we got it back again. Uh, servo mechanism. The servo worked as accepted, really good. It opened the cameras. Our homemade parachute uh, gave us a really good uh, and stable descent. The carbon fiber, the carbon fiber was really strong, and uh, survived from the shock and protected the casa. It's uh, completely undamaged. Uh, and the GPS was uh, really pleasant because it gave uh, an average signal from 11 satellites. The Photoshop, uh, we, we calibrated the Photoshop well, and it worked just fine. Uh, we, have, we had only one problem with the cameras. Uh, our cameras uh, record uh, 16 minutes of video, they save the video, and then start the next circle to, to record another 16 minutes of video. Uh, the camera stayed in the rocket for 15 minutes and 13 seconds. So in the first circle we had only 47 seconds of video. Uh, when it started the second circle of the video, it fell on the ground and uh, get, got, the cameras got wet from the snow. And so we lost the second uh, circle of video. And we managed to do the 3D only with uh, 47 <coughs> seconds of video. Here we have a pressure measurement graph. First of all, I want to tell that uh, due to the me uh, servo mechanism, we needed a dark room to load the cars in the rocket. So the first measurements are in the toilet of. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we can see here that uh, uh, the the pressures uh, the pressure started to decrease uh, when the rocket uh, was fired and then slowly come back to the normal levels. Then we have a temperature uh, uh, measurement graphs. Uh, we, uh, we placed the, the, the temperature sensor next to the electronics uh, in the single state. So the, the temperature that was uh, coming out from the electronics affected a little bit the temperature we got. Uh, so you can see when we uh, started the, the cancer, we had uh, 14 uh, uh, cancers, and then it uh, raised uh, a little bit. Then uh, uh, when the cancer uh, popped off the <coughs> rocket, the temperature started decreasing uh, to 60 degrees. <coughs> So uh, here is the graph of the GPS we uh, You can see there is a problem, uh, there is an error of the GPS. Uh, it, it starts, uh, uh, when the rocket starts, it uh, raises to uh, uh, 400 uh, meters and then suddenly drops and raises up again. So when we started again the, uh, the data we've got and we, uh, we, we have seen that when uh, the, the, the measurements start to uh, drop, the satellites was, uh, that, that the GPS was getting signal was less than uh, the other ones. So we believe that when the rocket uh, starts reaching the high, highest uh, altitude, it, it changes orientation so that the cancer will uh, fall uh, off the rocket. 
then uh, we believe that uh, the, the antenna of the GPS uh, lost some of the satellites. That's why we have this uh, problem right here. We have uh, the altitude uh, calculated from the pressure sensor. Uh, it looks just fine. Uh, the rocket uh, launches and it slowly comes down. Then we uh, we calculated the, velo the decent velocity uh, according to the GPS. Uh, as you can see, uh, the, the velocity was uh, quite stable. And uh, we uh, could draw a line over this uh, the angle of the line is uh, the, velo the, 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 is the velocity we got uh, uh, from the castle. So it was 12 uh, uh, meter per second. But we, uh, we know that 12 meter per second is over the, uh, the limit. But uh, due to the false readings of the GPS, we thought that uh, we should do another graph with the diesel velocity according to the pressure. Uh, in, with the same uh, calculation, we calculated the, the velocity was uh, 10 meters per second. And uh, we believe that's uh, pretty much accurate. But <coughs> the right one. Yes. Uh, also here we have a compare of altitude uh, the blue graph is a graph of uh, altitude uh, who calculate by GPS and the red one is uh, calculated by the pressure. Uh, we can see the, uh, the error. Uh, for, GPS, for to six uh, connected satellites with our GPS uh, uh, create this uh, error. But I would think that the pressure uh, graph is uh, correct. Uh, let's visualize our GPS data in our 3D model, in action. Also, we are here. Come here. This uh, is the route of the first car manipus uh, in here in Kansa competition 2010. Uh, this is the route of GPS. Uh, here we can see uh, the error. This is not uh, being real. Uh, the Kansat uh, lens come uh, from here and drop down there. Uh, this uh, uh, this uh, this landing is very stable. Uh, this descent. Uh, like we will run with the parachute. Uh, much better is the graph uh, uh, points of uh, pressure. Uh, here uh, the rocket uh, lands up, up this and uh, land here. Stable. So, uh, also we can see it together the, the roots. The earth here. Uh, in this part, we can uh, almost say that it's the same, but uh, here have a uh, biggest uh, error. Let's come back. Okay, here's the construction of our parachute. Here are the, cal the calculations for the right uh, length of the parachute, and also here. And here's the part that we are stitching and uh, completing its construction. It took us a uh, one week time to make it. And we, make it, we made it red so we can uh, track it in the snow. It's completely homemade. And that's the, the, the plants. And now this is the, car the carbon fiber construction. That's the, the complete mold of uh, uh, the castle cover. And here we can see the vacuum infusion pro pro process. With, with, uh, <coughs> with the vacuum pump here. Also, uh, up there is the, the, uh, the construction of the flat pieces of the carbon fiber, right here. And that's the, the, uh, the resolution. You can see the concept, it's 
completely unbalanced. The cameras are already moved. Only. And the parachute too. Part of the, our mission that we, we had uh, the biggest problem. Uh, the video that uh, the cameras captured was only 47 seconds, as we said, and uh, the photos that we took uh, were not well enough to make a good uh, 3D model. So, but we, we managed to make we managed to make uh, something uh, that we could. Uh, the, the first option. Uh, was to place photos on the already done three D model. Uh, we didn't manage it because the angle of the cameras and the photos that we took was not uh, great, and we did it with uh, photos from uh, Google Earth. So that's the, the place that uh, our cameras would capture if they worked well. Uh, the second uh, way to make the 3D model uh, is something that we used uh, for the first time yesterday night. Uh, it's uh, creating a point cloud using the software Photoscene. Here uh, you can see an example. Here it is. As you can see, those are the photos photo. that we combined. Uh, just could we close the lights so you can see the point cloud? Yes, uh, this is the top of the mountain of the area. And uh, this is the point cloud we created. Uh, it's the common point of the photos. Uh, and this one is clear, I think. Uh, those are the other photos we combined. And that's the point cloud here, which is the mountains. And we also used a third uh, way to make the 3D mapping, which is creating a mesh using photogrammetry software uh, named Autodesk 1 to 3D CAD. Uh, here it is. It is uh, the same top of the mountain. Here you can see the 3D. And uh, we all, we've also done uh, the same thing with a lake and uh, the mountains. And we've also cut the sky because it uh, was difficult to make the 3D model with the sky in it. Here's the mesh. Here's the mesh describing the quality of the 3D model. Um, <coughs> the mess in the other the the As you can see here, the quality is better because uh, the quality of the photos. Uh, all ca cars and subsystems are uh, functionally problem. Uh, we have we had a stable decent uh, our homemade parachute. We had uh, a pretty good data transmission. Our server mechanism uh, uh, was great. And our structure uh, had survived the shock uh, from the... Uh, uh, future improvement that we can do. We, uh, we thought that we could uh, put a third camera, a backup camera, so inside the gas that it will be protected. Secondly, we thought that we could... Uh, <coughs> be a better fit if we had a greater distance between the cameras. So we thought if we could land two carsets or uh, one carset which will be divided in two parts. And also uh, when it's snowing or it has rain, uh, we should uh, place in another, uh, in another place the cameras and uh, the extraction mechanism should be deactivated. 
uh, of course, uh, we uh, should use a better uh, temperature sensor. Uh, by the whole study that we've done for the geographic information for this island, we've noticed that uh, there are some lakes and uh, some hills uh, that are not uh, printed in the maps. So uh, in the future we may do something to make a better uh, map of this place. Um, also, there are some, in the maps that we were given, there are some places that uh, seem uh, flooded, but uh, the period of the year that they are flooded is not determined. And uh, there are also some details that were not very clear. And also, on our outreach program, uh, we have uh, 211 lights in our Facebook page, uh, 2,437 uh, uh, people have visited our Facebook from uh, 17 uh, to 23 uh, of April. Uh, we have more than 10 articles uh, in Hellenic newspapers. Uh, we have a blog with a variable of articles. Uh, Moreover, uh, we have uh, <coughs> give interviews in uh, more than uh, eight uh, channels, uh, and one of these is globally broadcasted uh, on satellite TV. Uh, moreover, yesterday we have a meeting with uh, the minister uh, of education, uh, but we have to cancel. Uh, because of uh, competition. Uh, some funny pictures. Uh, and questions? One more. Uh, we want to thank the Austrian team for the transmitter they sent us, uh, and we used it in the lands. And also, uh, he's an arm for this lifetime experience. Thank you. Do you have a lot of trouble preparing before the flight? It took you a lot of time, and you had to yes, go in the dark room. How do you think you could improve your pre-flight preparations this time? Yeah. Um, we, the problem we had was that we, the first time, we forgot to turn on the cameras. That was the problem. So we, we, we because we, they moved us so two rockets. Uh, they, they moved us two rockets before, <coughs> so we were anxious and we running, and we forgot that was the problem. And then the, the problem was solved, and uh, we launched the. Launch. So you wouldn't change anything. Be more uh, uh, responsible. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, it's time for uh, the next team. Team number 13, Alpha from uh, Scotland.